The chords are a really important part of the song that will make your melodies sound better or worse and will give different vibe depending on the chord progression you make. Famous songs usually have the best chord progressions and I'm going to show you how to steal them and use them in your song. Because chords don't have copyright so you can steal them and actually if you make them 100% yourself probably there are a thousand songs out there with the same chord progression because they are limited. The first thing you can do is the easiest one. Just go on Google and search for those chords. There are going to be a lot of websites that have the chords so you can just go, check them, put them in your song, maybe even download the MIDI, but sometimes you cannot find them. So let me show you what you can do in this case. For this video I'm going to use my song like a melody so this way you don't have any copyright problems. And the thing you need to do is to go to one part of the song where there are chords. You can go to the break or you can go to the drop. In this case I'm going to go to a drop and I'm going to loop it. The first thing you need to do is to know in what key this song is. This way it's going to be easier to know the chords they are using. We play the song, we just wait a little bit. It says it's C sharp major. Sometimes these plugins with the major keys especially have problems to detect them and they go more to minor keys. So maybe when you check it, it says the relative minor, in this case would be A sharp minor. For this, just maybe wait a little bit more so maybe detect the major key or just use the minor one because in the end it's a relative so it's gonna have the same notes. Now what I'm going to do is to go here, we have a lot of helpers, I'm gonna choose major and I'm gonna go to C sharp. Okay, so now I know these notes are the ones I can use for this key. Now that we know the key of the song, we're gonna start getting the chord progression. What I'm gonna do is to put the filter in the master and I'm gonna cut all the high frequencies. This way I'm gonna focus on the sub bass and I'm gonna get the bass notes. These are gonna be the root notes of the chords. So just play the song and this is gonna tell us the note. As you can see it varies a lot, you know, it changes so much, it's not like one flat note. So if we focus on the first bar, especially where it is, it is in A sharp. It varies a lot but A sharp is repeating so much. So we're gonna go for that one. We go to our sound and I'm gonna put here A sharp. Go to the lowest note possible. This way later is gonna help us more. Let's go to the next bar and it says this F sharp. F sharp, it is in the key. Yes, okay, it's nice. We go to the third one and it says C sharp. Is C sharp in our key? Yes, it's here. And then we check the last chord. Oh, it stays in C sharp. What's happening? Okay, they change just here and is to G sharp. So we take this chord, we put it here, and then we go to, to G sharp. So right now we have this bass progression. Is it right? Is it wrong? I'm gonna put the pattern here together with the song and I want this to be as loud as possible. Now we're gonna play both at the same time. If the note is right, it's gonna sound good. If the note is not the right one, it's gonna sound weird. It sounds good. How do we know it? Well, if I put this, for example, in D sharp, do you see that it sounds bad? Check it with every note, good. Good, good. So we have the bass progression and from here we just need to create chords. Creating chords is so simple even if you don't know music theory. I have a video where I explain more in depth all of this and how to make professional chords and so, so maybe you want to go and take that one, but if not, just let me show you. To make a basic try that is just three notes in one chord, you just need to leave one note of the scale in between. So we have this note, we leave one in between, and then another note. We leave one, and we have another one. And it sounds like this. If it doesn't sound good or not as you want, what you can do is leave two in between, here and then one, and you have a major chord. But in this case, I think it would be minor. But why could maybe they have some inversions or the seventh or the seconds and all things? Yes, of course, in the end, if you don't have a really good ear, you're not gonna know exactly what notes they're using in the chords. But what you know is first, that the bass notes are the right ones. Second, that these chords sound good. So now the only thing you need to do is to make this chord sound a bit more professional and maybe add your touch to them. First, I'm gonna take the lower notes and I'm gonna clone them down. I'm gonna take this one and put it up. We open the voices, so now we have this. And of course, maybe the original song has the seventh, so maybe you can put them if you want to, or maybe not. And maybe you can also make some variations, like for example, I'm gonna put this one here, and I'm gonna put, for example, this one here. So just add your own touch to it, whatever you want to do, but at least you start from a good corporation, from a famous song that have good vibes or the vibes that you want and like. I hope this video was easy, leave a like and see you in the next one.